This is Roscoe, 11 week old, full blooded, chocolate and tan male Doberman. Uh, he is 15 and a half pounds. He's ear to have his ear crops. His ears have been cleaned with Chlorohex solution scrub. And I'm fixing to put cotton in them and mark the three quarter mark for the ear uh, for the ear to be trimmed. Okay, let me turn this. Okay, the ears have been marked and the cotton balls put in. You can see the three quarter mark there in blue ink. I think you can see it. Both the inside and the outside of the ear have been cleaned in chlor chlorhex solution, the scrub. And um, anyway, uh, I don't shave because shaving them makes them itchy. And uh, as long as they're clean, we're good with that. I think you can see the mark right there. Okay. Okay, the left ear has been trimmed. And... Uh, suture. I'm going to put a foam splint in this ear in a minute, but I've got to do the right ear. Okay, this is the right ear. Right here. Fixing to put the stent in. Here are the ears. Um, right there. It's the right ear. It's your stent put in, and of course your left ear. Uh, <laughs> I think you're going to love these ears. Yee boy. Okay. Okay. Put a little tiny bridge between them to keep them up. Unlike other breeds, uh, Dobies have to have a little bit of excited support for the ears. Uh, there you are. Foam splints. A little bit of tape to keep it in position. There's your right ear. This is your left ear. Alright, let's put this head shield on. I'm going to put a size... Uh, Maybe a size 12, but uh, we'll use whatever size is best to keep to keep the ears rubbing on the ears. All right, okay, here he is with the head shield on. The, the um, inside of this, you are to wipe it off once a day with a damp, not wet, paper towel to keep the inside of this clean. Uh, the cut edges of the ears, you are to put triple antibiotic ointment on. Just the cut edges from here, from right here, all the way up the edge of the ear. Just once a day. You are to keep him from... Uh, Running loose with this head shield, no no getting up under your house, no playing with other dogs, banging this head shield. He's to be confined in a proper size cage, um, possibly a five by three foot cage, if you have it, that you can depend on that he can't get out of. Um, Put a uh, bowl in there that he cannot knock over, a bowl of water that he cannot knock over, and, um, you know, those kind that have the little splay, splay bowls. Uh, other than that, uh, you're looking at uh, the 29th, 30th, we can remove those sutures, um, and uh, as I discussed with you earlier. All right, go home tomorrow. Is your baby waking up? What you think, boy? Hmm? What you think? Okay, he's doing good. He's all stretched out on his little bed.